today we have such a full house, you know, and uh, we just had the amazing Professor Bernard joining us in the studio to talk about his book. And uh, Bernard Clive, I don't know why I, keep, I kept thinking you were Bernard Kelvin. That's how I saved your name, honest. Yeah. So Bernard Clive joins me in the studio again and uh, with his book, Inspirational Kitchen, which I keep in my purse every day as I go along. Bernard, how are you doing? Good as God here. Okay, so first of all, um, this book is meant for who? Everyone. Everyone. Yes, I believe everyone needs a form of inspiration or motivation. So everyone. Is it's it for the, the the depressed? Like who needs it more? <laughs> <laughs> like seriously, who if needs you're it depressed, more? you need it. You, you just take uh, a spice, a word, be okay to motivate or inspire you to get going. Okay. Yeah. So here's the deal. Um, there are tons and tons and tons of inspirational books. They, they expect us to just read and uh, be motivated mm. and all our troubles go away. But it's not that easy. Yeah. You, under, you, yeah. that's, you agree, that's, that's right? True. That's true. So how, how are we supposed to absorb this? We read it, then what? And you, you, you act on the, the words. That is it. Take There's a some... page, read and tell me how to act on, that, on those <laughs> words. Okay, let's pick this. Mm -hmm. The first one that that's let me Let me read this one for you. Okay. It says, you can think all you can, but don't say all you think which is absolutely amazing. You can think all you can, but don't say all you think. Words are spirit, and they are life. For we call those things that be not as though that they were. Speak to, mount speak to your to mountains. mountains. So we can think, but don't say all you think. Yeah, why, if all you think is positive, why, why don't I say it? When you say, when you say words, you confess it. It comes into parts. Mm -hmm. So most of the time, not everyone thinks positively all the time. We have some funny feelings, and <laughs> I keep on saying, if our thoughts was not it, on the, a broad screen, mm -hmm. we don't love it. Absolutely yeah, not. So Absolutely that we not. can, we always think of different things. But when we, when we say that and it's negative, we are confessing it into being. So let's make sure that what we are confessing, speaking out is something positive. That when it comes to pass, it's going to have impact. There are people who have this attitude, makam, makam. You know, whatever is on their minds, mm -hmm. they, just, they just have to share. They just have to say it because they believe that they can't keep things you know, within them, it hurts them. And I'm also told that when you keep things within you, it hurts you in, inwardly the more. So it's better to get it out. So now you are confusing us here, aren't you? No, it's, it's, it's different in, in that aspect. Sometimes when, when, you're, when you're stressed up, it's even advised that you write all the things that's going on in your mind down. You write them. Okay, but don't just confess them and speaking them out, okay? But you can just write it down or just go to a place. You can just talk to yourself, mm -hmm. okay? So those are stress-relieving things, mechanisms that you can do. But when you go out and confessing words anyway, anyhow, they come into pass or some way have an effect on us because our words are things. Okay. Yeah. There's something that I do. I'm going to confess on national television today. If somebody ever discovered that book, I'll be in deep trouble. Everybody that ever made me angry, you know, I have this black book somewhere. I'm not going to tell what color it is so that <laughs> my people can go find it at home right now. I just go there and I write like I'm talking to you. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. I write to you whatever insults, whatever it is that I want to say to you, I write it out. And it's amazing, by the time I'm done, I feel like I'm I've dealt okay. with you. Yeah. So that when I see you, I don't even feel like saying those words anymore. You can try it. I mean, yeah. seriously, write everything. If I want to tell you, hey, I hate you so much, put it in words on a piece of paper. And then when you're done, yeah. that's it. It yeah. goes away. That's right? a great therapy. And then there are people who constantly, constantly see themselves as negatives. Mm -hmm. Nothing you do or say inspire them in whatsoever way. You are a motivational speaker, inspirational talker, you know. Which one do you fall in? <laughs> <laughs> what do you have to say to people like this? You know, everyone has something that inspires or motivates him or her. So if you don't find a source, whatever you do can inspire the person. Speakers can speak, there could be books or videos, but if you don't act on those things, if mm -hmm. you don't find things that trigger your excitement, that sets your heart on fire, you won't be motivated. Mm -hmm. So we all have different sources of motivation and things that inspire us. So when you find your source, you'll be on fire. You, you'll be excited. That is it. That is it. Mm. Okay. I'm not so much concerned about the light at the end of the tunnel, but rather the light inside, that is mm. hope, leading me that it will not turn dim. Mm. Keep hope alive. Yes. This, we're looking at most of the time, it's a good thing that there's, there's light at the end of every tunnel. Every right? tunnel. What That's what inspires to, us to move to, on. To move on. But more, more importantly is what is within us, our hopes and beliefs. Mm -hmm. it's, it start, start from a belief system. Do you believe it's going to be possible? Because if you don't believe and you dim the light inside, it doesn't matter what things are around it, it will not still motivate you to move forward. So, so faith within yourself within is within more yourself important. Is more important than any other thing. It's, it's, it's a self-belief system. Okay. Do you believe? That's the first thing to succeed in life. You, a belief in yourself and act upon those things, then you can succeed. Do you believe in yourself? Do you? Okay, he does. He does. The future belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their dreams. Dreams do come true. Dream big and live no, your dreams. 
Uh, dreams are possible, but okay. when, when you dream and act upon it, they come to being. Mm -hmm. So our dreams, everyone has got dreams and goals and aspirations. But when we act, take steps. So it's better to dream bigger dreams and <laughs> make, make steps to achieve them. Okay. Most of the people have just wishes, not dreams. They have wishes. Wishes, because they wish things get better. They wish for good things. But they are not taking plans and steps to get those things. You will never have it. So it can be anything you want to be. Yes. Guma, you can buy a Lexus tomorrow sure. if you choose to do so. As long as you dream big and you take steps, steps. towards oh, achieving sure. that. Exactly. Right, Bernard? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, we'll go through these three today. And then Bernard will join us another time. This book is called The Inspirational Kitchen. Discover 30 ingredients to spice up your life. What are, give me some of the ingredients I can use to spice up my life. <laughs> words are number one. So the, all these are made of words. Okay. Positive affirmative words that you can confess and act upon it. Okay. Then you can be inspired. Then you can be inspired. <laughs> Wherever you see this book, please grab a coffee. It's, it's amazing. And you can be anything, anything you want to be. Just start right now. Maybe you're watching me. You're so depressed. Your life is in shambles. You think, you know, yes, I can do it. Challenge yourself. Write it on a piece of paper and set a time frame for yourself and just work towards it. All right, let's see whether or not you don't achieve that dream. And uh, good luck to you. Good luck to you, Bernard. Good luck. Thank Bernard you. Bernard Clive, Kelvin. I'll have Kelvin to your name. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you so you. much. I'll be right back.